Well, we finally made dry land. That took absolutely ages. We did land near a, a tiny little island, but there was nothing there, so it was a lot of paddling. Plane crashed over there somewhere, I'm not 100% sure where, but we've been paddling pretty much all day, and we finally made it here. This looks like a pretty good island. I don't know what's going to be here. Don't know if we're going to be alone. This life raft definitely saved me. But this is Stranded Deep. It's a single player survival game that pretty much puts us in the role of Tom Hanks in Castaway. And this game is so much fun. We'll go ahead and drag this onto the beach. Don't want it floating away. It's pretty useful and I think we're going to end up using it again. We don't know. Now what? Uh, what time is it? Okay, so we're knocking on now. We're nearly four o'clock. We haven't got a lot of daylight left. Health isn't great. Um, and we're a little bit dehydrated and sunburnt. So great. But okay, plan of action. Let's have a bit of a look around this island. See what there is. See what we can do. See if there's anything we can try and salvage. We'll, we'll just get a bit of a lay of the land for now. The stick there and some corrugated iron or corrugated scrap. Just washed up on the beach probably. Another stick. Wonder if there's anything up there. Okay, so I've just found this. Um, it looks like a shipwreck under the water. I don't think we've got enough daylight left to look there now, but we'll, uh, we'll go and check it out tomorrow morning. We'll see if there's anything left behind on it. At the minute, I think we just need to grab as much as we can and start seeing what we can do. Grab that. I'm going to try and grab just pretty much everything that I can see and then just stockpile it where I want to set up my shelter. Grab that one. Corrugated scrap will definitely take that. Just put it in our pocket. I'll grab that. Sun is really getting low now. We're really getting pushed for time. We've got some pretty good stuff though. Um, so we'll run it across before we get stuck in the dark. Because I've got no torch or fire. I'm not going to see anything. That's everything we've got. Not a bad haul. The difficulty I face is I want you guys to see exactly what it is I'm doing when we're making fire and stuff like that. With the daylight disappearing, I just don't think it's going to be possible. You're not going to be able to see anything when it's night time. I'm not going to be able to see anything when it's night time, so... Okay, so with a little bit of daylight left, let's see what we can do. Um, I need some lashing. That's rope. I get that from fibrous leaves. The only way to get that is by making a stone tool, so we can actually cut the fibrous leaves. Because um, we need the lashing for the shelter, and we need some palm fronds as well. So I'm going to need to make an axe as well, which is going to require lashing. So I think that's going to be top of the agenda, really. Lashing, number one priority. Um, so the sun is really going down now. Let's make a stone tool quickly, and we'll head on over to. Uh, we're gonna. It's going to be so dark in about five to ten seconds. Um, let's try and find a young palm tree quickly. Right, we'll try and hack this down. It takes about four hits with a stone tool, whereas with an axe it'll take like one. But we get this, fibrous leaves. And about five of those makes one lashing. I think it's five. But the sun is all but gone. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get some more lashing together. And I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It was a, a long, long night and a fairly eventful one. Uh, I'll get to more on that in a minute. But uh, yeah, we're not in a bad place. We're not in too bad of a place. Now that we've got um, the daylight, I'll be able to show you a lot more of what exactly this game is about, what we can do. And I'm really looking forward to getting to work because uh, that was one hell of a night. We were really cold and um, there's something that I'm definitely going to have to show you in a little bit. But uh, Let's just head back to our shelter and see what we've got. Um, or our area that we're going to set up our shelter. We've got a lot more lashing now. A hell of a lot more. I've gathered a load more rocks. Um, 
it took ages to make this much lashing, trying to find all of the young palm trees in the dark um, and finding all of these fibrous leaves. We've obviously got the little stone tool that I made just before it hit darkness. Um, that's what I was using. Absolute nightmare. Got a load of rocks. I found two more bits of corrugated scrap, which is handy. I don't know what we can use those for just yet, but no doubt it'll be handy for shelter building and stuff like that. Um, we've got another tarp, uh, two tarps that we found, and a propeller. Um, that could be really handy, I, I don't know. You might notice this crude spear and this night snake. Now, the night snake actually attacked us in the middle of the night and took my health down a little bit. So I had to try and take him on and battle him. What a pain in the arse he was. But uh, I'm so glad that he's dead now. So give him some of that just for being an idiot. But yeah, he scared the absolute crap out of me. So yeah, we're not in a bad place at all. We've got some pretty good stuff. We're going to get to work today. It's uh, it's quite early. We're obviously low on health thanks to the snake. And we need water. A little bit tired as well. So I think we need to do the basics really. We need fire, water and shelter. That's sort of like the survival triangle. And I think we're going to need to get cracking with that. Question is now, with it being 7.30, we've got a full day. What do we do first? Um, I'm a little bit spoiled for choice, really. And a little bit torn. I think water's going to be top of the agenda. And I think the best place to get that is probably from palm trees. Coconuts. So I'm going to take this with me. In case I can't reach them, hopefully I can sort of jab them down with the spear. A small one over here. We'll see how we get on. Oh, we can reach that one. Sweet. Um, oh, there's another snake there. Shit. There's another one. Took two spears to take the other one down last night. Unfortunately, I broke one. So I've only got one left. I think if he's going the other way, I haven't got the health to be dealing with him. We'll just we'll leave him be and we'll stick to our side of the island for now and deal with him another time. Let's try and get this coconut down. Hey, first shot. And yeah, it was a good idea bringing the spear. Okay, two coconuts. Let's put the coconut away and get the spear out. Get these ones down. Oh, let's epically miss and get the spear stuck. You've got to be kidding me. Right, okay. I'm going to have to climb this. I didn't want to do this because with this game being in early alpha, I didn't want to fall down and lose any more health, but I'm going to have to risk it now. Right, there's the coconuts. Can we get the spear? Yeah, we salvaged that as well. That way. Right, let's try and get down from here without dying. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, so let's take these coconuts out. Four of them. And we'll get our stone tool and we'll cut these open and have a look. See if we can get some... Uh, there we go, drinkable coconut. Right, let's have a go at this. We've got one bar of drink. So if we drink all four of these, we'll see where that puts us. Okay, so four coconuts has pretty much filled the bar. We're too short. Uh, but that's not bad going at all, really. That puts us in a better state. Now, I kind of want to build a shelter and just get that out of the way with. To do that, I need um, an axe. And to build an axe, I need... Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards building a solar still and capitalising on the daylight. Oh, day one survived. Okay, so, right, my logic behind this is the sun is out. If we build a solar still... Uh, not that one. Yeah, we'll grab a tarp. If we build a solar still, that can be working just in the background while I'm working on a shelter and other things. So we've got guaranteed water there. I think that's going to be the best bet. Uh, where do I want to put this? We'll put it here, in the sunlight. So hopefully that will start producing water for us while we uh, build a shelter. But to build a shelter, I'm going to need some tools. See what we can do. Uh, crude axe. Okay, I need another stone tool. I've only got one of those at the minute. Takes two rocks. I've only got four, but we need to do it. We need an axe, otherwise we can't progress any further. Okay, I've got one there and one in my hand. So, yeah, two. Cool. Right, crude axe. Let's build it. Sweet. Look at that. That's awesome. That's so cool. This palm tree is in the way. Uh, this is where our base is going to be. So, 
Let's go ahead and chop this down. I don't know how long it's going to take with this little hatchet, but uh, hopefully not too long. Oh, there we go. Timber! Nice. Oh, and we got a coconut for it. Right, we'll go ahead and start moving this out of the way. I can chop this up a little bit more later, I think. I need the palm fronds first. They're the most important thing. I've already got a load of sticks that I gathered. So we'll go ahead and get the palm fronds. Or the palm bunch. Chop that up. There we go. Palm fronds. We'll go and fan myself like some sort of pharaoh. Okay, lashing, palm fronds, and sticks. And we can build a shelter. Now, it's only a makeshift shelter. It's not brilliant, but it's going to work. It allows us to sleep. Um, it allows us to save the game. So it puts us in a bit of a better position. We can uh, be a little bit more reckless now. Um, speaking of which, let's save the game before we forget. Okay, uh, what's next? Fire, I guess. Fire is going to be the next most important thing. So we'll craft a campfire. And we'll put that... Um, you know what, I'm going to put it just next... I really don't know. I'm going to put it next to the shelter. I'm going to put it next to the shelter. It makes sense. I was going to put it in between everything, but... I'm going to start building upon it. So, using these stones, we'll build a fire pit. That's going to make the fire last longer. And then from there, we can build up even more on that. Um, as we go on and see, you know, we can build smokers and all sorts. I'd like to use the corrugated scrap. We could potentially build a shelter out of that later on. Um... At the minute, we can just do a corrugated table or a shelf. I would have thought that we can... Yeah, right, two for a shelf. And four for a table. I think we'll save that for now, and we'll try and incorporate that into a bit of a, a better shelter or a hut later on. Okay, using the sticks, we're going to create some kindling. That allows us to get our fire started. Uh, I don't really have much of a need to get the fire started right now, and... I don't really want to because it's going to waste the small amount of wood that we have got. I wouldn't mind making a smoker. I think that's going to be pretty handy to, to build up. How are we getting off of time? Health is really low. 11.20. It's still pretty early on. I think we should go and check out that shipwreck. Right, we're tooled up. We've got our axe. We've got a spear. Let's go and do it. Do we need anything else? Let's save and then we'll head off. Or get stuck on a rock. 12.23. I started trying to chop some wood. Um, I can do that later on when it's dark. I don't see the real need to do it now. I'm worried about this snake though. I mean our health is really low. I know I've just saved the game. But our health is really, really low. So I don't want to push my luck too much. But this shipwreck's bound to have something good on it. It might have some form of medicine. It might have... I don't know. I don't know what it could possibly have on there. But we're going to go for it. We're going to need to avoid those down there. They're poisonous. And conveniently, there's one on the ship, which I'm going to have to be careful of. But we've got a wood crate with morphine, torch, and a refined axe, all of which are brilliant. We'll definitely be taking all of that. We'll go and grab some air. Okay, let's go back under. Can we get further into the ship? Can we get in lower down? Might be able to get... Under there? I don't even know if we can, if there's anything under there. We'll get some more air and then we'll give it a go. We fit. No, come on, we can fit through there. Oh, god damn it. Right, we'll go back up, we'll grab some air and we'll see if we can get in anywhere else. What about down here? Oh, there's a ray over there. Oh, I think we might be able to get into the front of the ship here. Get some air again. If we're going to be in there, we might be in there for a little while. And unfortunately, the air runs out really quickly. Shit, what the hell was that? Let me in. Uh, nothing. Axe. Wood crate. That's not, not bad. I can hear it moving around outside. I don't know what it is, but it's scaring the crap out of me. Oh, it sounds big and I'm running out of air. I don't want to come out of here. Where is it? 
What is it? There was definitely something swimming around out here and it sounded really big. I'm just going to try and get to the shore as quickly as I can. This is so horrible. There was definitely something there. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, that's horrible. That was so horrible hearing it, like, swimming around. It's a fuel tank. Two of four parts of energy. That'll go pretty well with our propeller. Let's go ahead and drop these crates here and have a proper look at what we got. Okay, an engine. So that's three parts to an engine. Leather and morphine, which is for broken bones. More morphine, torch, and a refined axe. Hey, that crab's still in our crate. Leave it alone. I'll eat you. Right, we'll take these back. Now, funnily enough, most people would be disappointed at the fact that it's raining, but considering we're stranded on a desert island, this is a pretty good thing. It's, uh, it's probably going to fill up our solar fucking still, our water still that we've got. This is all drinking water, you know? It's, it's a good thing. It's a positive, if anything. Yeah, see? We're on two. I don't know if that's because of the sun or because of the rain, but it's certainly positive. It's certainly going to help us. Getting a fire going, however, is not going to be easy. I don't know if this is going to dampen all of the wood. We'll go ahead and drop these. We'll tidy everything up a little bit. Take everything out. Um, I'm going to put boat parts or engine parts in this one so we can try and build an engine if we can fit an engine to a raft we are going to be really really laughing we'll be in a really good position and then this one i'm going to put medical supplies so we've got both of our morphines and a bandage could come in useful still got a space left in there um right we need to protect the fire so Let's put the torch next to the shelter. We're going to need that a little bit later on. But I think we're going to need to get cracking with building something to cover the fire. And I think a smoker is probably the way to go. We'll use the tarp. And we'll build something that we can put food into and cook it slow time, you know. It does look like the rain is easing up. But I'm going to progress ahead with this and build this anyway. I think it's going to be useful. And it's going to come in handy. Everything's in the way. Let's move the kindling out of the way. Move the uh, coconuts. Okay, now we can turn this, I think. Can't figure out for the life of me which way is the right way. The, uh, no? That way. There we go. That's looking good. However, our snake buddy has appeared. It took two spears last time, so we'll go ahead and throw two this time. Oh, no. Oh, we hit him once. Whoa, what the hell was that? God, the physics in this game. We're definitely an early alpha. I'm going to pick that up before we lose it. That was amazing. He's even moving that entire tree. Look at him bouncing around. But this is the problem. They become really unpredictable. And because they're unpredictable, they're difficult to take on, I guess. I don't want to ruin any more sticks by making more spears. I kind of want to retrieve that one, but I'm really worried he's just going to bounce at me. Oh, for... Jesus Christ. Stuff it. I'm doing it. Right. Oh. Jesus. Okay, well, we got three spears. What a pain in the arse this dude is. But he's gone now. Hopefully he's the last one on this island. Uh, I'll pick him up and move him. It, for some reason, it won't let me pick him up and put him in my inventory. I don't know whether that means we can't cook him or we can't do anything with him, but we'll keep them over there as trophies anyway. And we'll put our crate back over here. I can't believe how far that went. If that had gone into the sea and we'd have lost our... I don't know what that was, whether it was the engine or the, uh, the medical, but either way, if we'd have lost that, I'd have been devastated. Solar still's been filling up with water. If we pick up these drinkable coconuts, we can refill them. Because they're empty at the minute, obviously. 
and then we'll store these and then obviously if it rains again or if it's sunny tomorrow then uh, we can continue to keep on top of this if you know what I mean we'll leave the empty ones there and we'll keep the drinkable ones just over here so they're separate and we know what is where we have got the smoker um, health is low hunger's not too bad really I don't know whether to get the fire going and see if we can start cooking stuff just to cure it Move our torch back before we lose that. Let's get the fire going. It'll at least see us through the night then. Come on. Come on. Yes! We have fire. Look at what I have created. I am the king of fire. Okay, we are in a pretty good place right now. We've got everything we need. Can we... Wow. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Right, come over here. And up and in. Right, we'll put him in the smoker. We'll leave him cooking there. Hopefully that will cook him. I, I don't know whether we have to skin him. In real life, you would skin it, strip all the meat out and stuff like that. But with this being early alpha, I don't think we have to. But the sun is going. That's day number two. Gone. Just flown by. That looks amazing, though. Look at our awesome little camp. It's coming together. Okay, but I think I'm going to leave it there for now. And we'll figure out what we're going to do next time. There's still a lot more to explore. There's a lot more to do. There's a lot more to build. Um... And I want to, I don't just want to stay on this island. I want to push out a little bit and uh, see what else we can do. So hopefully you enjoyed this. And hopefully you'll be back to join us next time. But until then, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like if you did. And uh, I'll get all this stuff sorted. I'll catch you later, guys.